it's Julia and today I'm going to try my second attempt at the Soaping 101's Dandelion Zebra Swirl Challenge. And the pictures you just saw were the pictures of the first soap I had made. Now I made these soaps, I make these soaps with goat's milk and um, the first batch actually overheated in the mold and that picture of the soap you can see the the cavern and greasiness of it. it 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 separated in the mold but here I am to try again and um, on this batch I used goat's milk I used a different fragrance oil as well and it does accelerate and in this batch though I started it on um, at room temperature my um, live milk solution was cooled down in an ice bath and um, my oils were room temperature everything was room temperature as a matter of fact my um, Lime milk mixture was was pretty cool, um, so here I am attempting it again. And the colors I'm using are um, micas that I get from uh, the conservatory. Um, I'm using like a peacock blue, a sapphire blue, and uh, I think that is sunrise orange, and then also one color had titanium dioxide in it. Now this one I'm actually putting in um, a little bit of oil and mica 24 karat gold mica mix. It really doesn't show up but it gave it kind of more of a dark, darker color because I wanted a contrast between the white soap and the um, natural soap. I'm just mixing all these colors up and I'm I'm moving quite fast. In this technique, you're you're basically supposed to have um, kind of free flowing soap, and using this fragrance oil, I knew it wouldn't be that way. So I was just crossing my fingers and hoping that it would turn out um, better than the last time. Here in a minute when I get my mold together you'll see what I mean and if you want to um, take a look on Soaping 101 channel she she does it like it's supposed to be done um, where the uh, soap is actually more free-flowing but my soap gets to a thick trace really 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 quick and um, it could it's attributed to the goat's milk the fact that I put colloidal oatmeal in it and um, also the fragrance oil which which I knew was going to happen so I just kind of planned accordingly and just went with it and I was determined to uh, have a soap that turned out the mold without separating honestly um, the pictures that you saw before I started this I've I hadn't had that happen. I've seen it happen to other folks, but um, it happens. Um, I got busy doing other stuff. I wasn't watching it. Um, usually when I notice that my goat's milk soap starts to overheat, which it tends to do, um, I actually throw it in the freezer. But I didn't do that to this one, and or that first one, and that's, that's what happened. Um, it overheated and separated inside. It looked fine on the outside, but the inside was just a horrid mess. With this technique, um, I'm going to pour my base down in the mold. And on my base, um, I actually just did an in-the-pot swirl to kind of give it a different contrast. And um, you can use a piece of plastic this is actually just um, a piece of foam, craft foam from the uh, craft store or Michaels and uh, I just laid it in there and then what you're supposed to do is actually pour your soap down the um, down the piece of um, foam or plastic in uh, alternating but as you can see my soap is at a heavy trace it is um, to the point of the spooning stage. I mean, that's all you can do is just spoon it on there, glop it on there. A 
at this point I was just thinking to myself, oh, let's just get this in there and I hope it works. <laughs>